So the idea of traveling kind of sucks. The question is, what's wrong with traveling? We feel there's a lot wrong with traveling, at least in the conventional way. The tourist industry is a $1.9 trillion in economic output here in the US. But have we been doing it all wrong? We have some great wisdom that might change the way you travel and enhance your experience as you explore this big marble. We commonly load up in our car, jump on a plane, and then rush to the next site, the next show, the next tourist trap, snap a few videos or pictures, pull out our hard-earned cash and buy a cliche t-shirt, a knick-knack or some other trivial memento that shouts, we were here. Then we set out on trying to figure out our next location, our next vacation, our next something. The industry is designed to get you to spend money to support the 9.5 million American jobs surrounding tourism. Imagine what that is worldwide. My cousin's grandmother said a little bit of wisdom. Travel as if you plan on going back. This way, you don't try to see it all, and you don't try and experience it all, and you definitely don't need a vacation from your vacation. We traveled up the west coast from San Diego. Lost to sea, but no, we just drove. We went to San Francisco to go to a wedding and did a lot of bridge crossing. We stayed with family in San Francisco, but most of the wedding events were in Oakland, so we had to cross that bridge what felt like a thousand times. San Francisco is one of those places you could spend so much time exploring, but we didn't. We prioritized going to the wedding events over sightseeing while we were there. The place we stayed had amazing views, and our gracious host took us on a tour of the city, and we got to see some things. It's like Harry Street, only $1.7 million for a house that you need a Sherpa to carry your couch to. Oh yeah, and no garage, or a place to keep your car. <laughs> Got to see a windmill, some pretty flowers, visit some really neat old boats. even made it to the Golden Gate Bridge. But we feel that is even too much. We believe the way we should be traveling or vacationing is to slow down, stop trying to fit it all in. Learn to be explorers and not consumers. Walk the streets, meet the locals, discover more, and eat amazing food if we could only stay a month. We did make the best of our trip, even got to go to the Rosie the Riveter Museum. Ended up looking at a boat, which we'll cover in the next video. We'll also talk about some cool boats we saw at the Newport Boat Show that we actually drove to. We're excited about finding our boat so we can slow down and really experience cultures, history, and maybe find that off-beaten path location 
that doesn't require memento that shouts, we were there. And hopefully we'll be able to stay at least a month or more.